My name is Corey Haywood, and I'm a technical support specialist here at PTF, and I will be your host today for the Signature Capture webinar. <clears throat> Today's topics will include how to configure a signature field for use with Tracer Plus, how that signature data is stored on the device itself, and then also how to use Tracer Plus Connect to sync that signature data to your PC. <clears throat> if you are looking for more information on Tracer Plus in general or for more information on signatures, feel free to contact us at tracerplus.com. You can send an email to sales at tracerplus.com or you can call us up on the phone. If you have any questions, please uh, put your questions into the question panel and I will answer them at the end of the demo. If we are unable to answer all the questions today, you can always send them to sales at tracerplus.com or you can call in on the phone and ask them that way. <clears throat> okay, so the application I have here today is the Speedy Joe package tracking application, and this is available on our online solution center um, as a fully functional pre-configured application for tracking packages. Uh, what I've done here today is I've removed the signature field from this application uh, to demonstrate how to put a signature field onto an application and then how to configure it. <clears throat> so the first thing we'll need to do to this application to enable the signature capture function is add a new field to our project here called signature. And this new field is just going to be to hold those new signatures uh, that we'll be recording. <clears throat> so once we have created our signature field, we'll have to switch the field type to signature. And all this is telling Tracer Plus is that this field is going to be holding signature data. And because of that, it's going to use a pop-up window uh, that will pop up the signature field where you can find. Another important aspect of the signature configuration is the go-to field. Uh, you'll want to make sure that you set the go-to field of your signature field to something other than itself. Uh, because of the, the way it uses the pop-up window, if it is set to focus itself uh, after you've signed, it, it gets stuck in that pop-up window. <clears throat> so in this case, our go-to field, we would want to set that as the name field because that's going to be the field after the signature field where we would want the user to input the next field of data. So we'll switch that to name. And with that, that concludes the settings in the field settings section of the signature field. Uh, now we have to just place the field on the form. So using the field tool, we can place a new field on the form. <clears throat> and in this case, it is set to a source field of tracking number. Now that's not exactly what we want here. We want this to be our signature field. So. In that case, we're going to go to the Selected Control Properties window to the right, and we're going to change the source field from tracking number to signature. <clears throat> One more thing you would typically want to do in this situation is add a label to the form to denote that this is a signature type field. Uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm not going to add that label. Just going to leave it as blank. And with that, that concludes the the uh, configuration of your signature field. So what we'll do is we'll deploy it to our device. And so once that's been deployed, if we open up our device, we enter our delivery session we'll notice that that signature field is now on our form. <clears throat> so what we'll do here is we'll add a tracking number, and then we will add a deliver to. In this case, we can deliver the package to Joe Smith. <clears throat> and so now, this is where Joe Smith would want to sign. So for ha to have him to sign, all you need to do is tap in the field here. And what that'll do is it'll bring up a pop-up window where we can do our signature. 
So here we will just very quickly do a signature, and then we'll hit the Done button there to close out that window. And if you notice, it switches from Tap Here to Signature Exist. And all that really is saying is that there's now a signature that's held in that field uh, ready to be submitted. So for this, we'll also just type out Joe Smith. And then we can leave the comment blank for now. And we can submit that record. So now we've submitted that signature to our devices database. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll look at the data view for our session. And when we look in here, you'll be able to see that the signature is saved on the device now with this file name. So now the last thing we'd want to do here is, is to get the signature off the device. And to do that, we can use Tracer Plus Connect to sync it to our PC. So here I have a pre-configured Tracer Plus Connect profile and process uh, that is set up to sync the tracking number, who the package is delivered to, and also that signature that we just made to our to a uh, sample delivery table. <clears throat> An important setting to note here is the advanced section of the destination. This binary file path is where the actual image file is going to be located after we do this sync. The file name will be synced to the to the data table, but the actual image will be located in the folder specified here. Uh, this could be any folder you want. Um, in this case, I'm just going to leave it as the default, which is uh, Tracer Plus Connect 8 slash bin. Uh, but that could also be a directory on your desktop if that's where you wanted to hold your signatures. <clears throat> So with that, we'll just go to the Synchronize tab here, and we will sync that one record to our table. And so if we pull up our table now, and we refresh it, you'll notice that now we have uh, the tracking number of our package, who it was delivered to, and then also the file name of that signature. And if we wanted to track down the actual signature, we could go to that file path specified in the advanced uh, section, and here is that signature right here. So at this point, that concludes the configuration of the signature field. Uh, thank you very much for attending. That will conclude this webinar.